So let's create this scene in 10 minutes using assets from the Polyhaven library. We will be using some general tips and tricks as well. So make sure you watch to the end. So we're going to be using Polyhaven. If I just expand this out and we come over into the, our asset browser, current file, we're going to go into Polyhaven and we can see that we've got a massive library of HDRIs, models, which get updated daily and also textures, some glorious textures. Let's create a scene. I'm going to select everything, delete mesh plane, uh, scale that by two. From here, I'm going to go shift D to duplicate, rotate X 90 degrees. G, Y, hold control to snap. Um, and this one here, I'm just gonna bring it back in a little bit and move it over to the side. And I'll explain that a little bit later. Let's now select the floor plane again, shift D, rotate Y 90 degrees, G to the X, move this one over. And then we're gonna select both of these, G, Z. And we've got that. Now I wanna create an archway in here. So let's go shift A, add in a circle. And from here, let's go E to extrude and mm, something like that. Let's now go into box select, delete vertices, select these. And I'm gonna go E to extrude along the Y axis. There we go. And let's put a few edge loops like so. I think that's even. And I wanna scale this down because it's a little bit too big. So let's grab this G Y mm, here. And that's about two meter arch, so let's keep with that. I'm gonna go E to extrude. Let's go ahead and add some extra geometry in there, and that'll become apparent in a sec. And then to make our lives easier for a little bit later on, I'm gonna delete these bottom faces, delete. Let's now go ahead, rotate X 90 degrees, and we'll set this up so it's sitting just below the ground. Let's go ahead and fix up this face so I can cut a hole in the wall. There we go, GG. Right, so there we go, Control R to do edge loops. This is all I'm doing right now. There we go, G to the Z. Is it gonna be enough? Let's go GG, just move it over ever so slightly more. And the reason why I'm double tapping GG is so that it keeps the UV. So from here, we can delete these faces and then we've got a nice hole in the wall. Let's move this back. And we're going to scale this along the Y axis, G, Y. All right, so two things now. Let's apply some textures. So I kind of want some sort of flooring. We're looking, not a stone wall. This one here, mm, cobblestone five looks pretty good. Uh, let's jump over into cycles to make, uh, to get the full experience. Let's go 32, 128. And now that we can come into rendered mode, we can see our textures kind of completely warped. However, if I click on the materials, we can see that we've got this extra little bits here. Let's go control A, apply the scale, fix texture scale, will it work? Nope, that's fine. And that's just because I've made it too big. Let's go control A, apply the scale now. There we go, that's looking much better. From here, we want to throw on some sort of like red brick, um, old castle style, dilapidated yeah like that that's facing the wrong way and that one's all right so let's go into let's just go rotate x 90 degrees and so that looks pretty good let's go fix texture scale and set up displacement oakley doakley and now that's given us some extra geometry that's pretty cool now let's go ahead and do this archway i'm just going to go into front view and let's go into a mm, brick material. We'll throw that on there. Obviously it's gone to shambles, but that's fine. Let's go into UV editing. And from here, I'm gonna select this edge. I'm gonna go U, UV unwrap. Here's a great tip, because I do want the bricks to kind of follow that line. Select the face, right click, follow active quads. And we'll just go into material mode. And we can see how that has followed the bricks and that is how we want to do it. From here, we can select everything else. We go U, unwrap, select one of them. Uh, right click, follow active quads. And obviously everything's completely out of scale. Uh, however, if we select everything, L, now we can kind of just increase the scale of this. So it matches that border. 
and there we go. Now we've aligned that up quite nicely. Let's just go GY, move it back a smidgen. And you can see how it doesn't really mesh together. Now we will fix that up really quickly, really easy, a little bit later on. I have noticed that the inside bricks are fine. The outside is a little bit more wonky. So let's go ahead. I'm going to fix that. Let's just go ahead and select all the faces on the outside. Let's come into material mode and then we're just going to move this up and down a little bit till they match up. There we go. Perfect. Back into layout. Let's go ahead and throw in a HDRI now. I want an outdoor setting. Hmm. Skies. I want a sunrise sunset. Uh, so maybe, yeah, this one here. That's, nope. It's a little, it's, oh, actually, that's not too bad. Um, let's come over into the lighting. I mean, into the world settings. And we will just give this a bit of a rotation. And so what I'm after is when the camera's like here, I want that light coming through the tunnel uh, this way. Ooh. So almost something like that. I think that looks super nice. Let's now go jump over into some materials. Um, I do want a table. Now I want to put That's some crud on the table. Yeah, we'll do. Let's go rotate 90 degrees. Uh, let's put on a wooden lantern and I'm just going to change it so it snaps to the face. Make sure it's sitting on there and let's just shrink that down a little bit. Uh, we might as well throw a light in here as well, just to give it a little bit more atmosphere. Shift S, cursor to selected. Let's go ahead, add in a light point, G to the Z. A little bit too strong. I want this to be kind of candlelight. Uh, let's change the radius to maybe 0.1. Change it to a bit more yellow. And we'll bump that up to like maybe 100. Probably a little bit too much, maybe 50. Nice. Uh, I'm going to put a camera on here and it's kind of like as if they've been taking photos all day and then we'll throw on some bottles of vino and you can see how they've come in linked. I'm going to press control A and we will go make instance real. Uh, I don't drink, but they can have some white wine. I do hope that we have uh, some bottles, uh, some glasses come through the set soon. And then while we're at it, here, have a croissant as well. I know the day's been long and hard. <laughs> and just for a, a little bit of color, I'm gonna put a pot plant in the background, like so. From here, let's go Shift A, let's throw in a camera and we'll go Control Alt Numpad Zero. And because we can see that gap, I think we might just leave that there. Uh, maybe we actually we bring it out a bit just so we can fully see the scene. That pot plant doesn't seem right. So let's move it there and we'll add in a secondary one right there. G, hold control and we'll snap that down. Only concern here is we've got a lot of empty space. So let's reposition the camera, maybe change the focal length to 28. And we're just trying to find that right spot. I like it. Uh, the thing I don't like though, is that these walls, it's kind of like a very harsh edge. So this is something outside of Polyhaven, but let's jump over into shading. And what I'm gonna do from here, is start off, we're gonna select this wall. I'm going to add in an ambient occlusion node. Got up here, sunshine. From here, I'm gonna add in a color ramp. Uh, I've got these boxes up here. These are from the node preview add-on and I'm going to dump that, bring that up, bring that up. And that is going to go into a mix RGB. There we go. From here, I'm going to dump the color into here. This is going into the factor and then we will join this factor into the base color. And you should see that when we go into rendered view, it's going to be white all through there. I don't want it white. I'm going to go for maybe like a dark brown color. Okay. And 
let's bring that back. It's a little bit too strong on the black. So let's just lighten that up. And you can see how now we've got these dark areas for the ambient occlusion. Distance, let's get maybe 0.2 just to make it a little bit smaller. Mm, 0.5, nice. And I'm going to select that. Now I'm gonna select our floor. Let's do a control V, color into here color into here and now you can see how the ground is kind of merging a lot better together there uh, if we wanted to maybe we could go one and just make sure it's working yeah nice and let's just do this on the brick archway as well color goes into there this goes into here and now we've got that merging in there let's just press f12 and see what comes out and there you have it within 10 minutes we created this pretty schmick and there you have it within 10 minutes we created this pretty schmick scene i think uh thanks polyhaven link in the description